you think, Slay? Well, a political chess game to boost energy programs in Hawaii and checks and balances over lawmakers looking to bump their own agendas. Joining us live this morning to talk about all this and so much more is Civil Beat reporter Chad Blair. Good morning. Good morning, ladies of KITV. Hey, Chad. All right, first, sounds like uh, Hawaii's governor. Let's talk about this. Aiming to mm. shift some leadership roles, maybe to get more biofuel contracts rolling. What's going on? What's he up to? Well, it's a pretty big deal. Mina Marita is commissioner of the Public Utilities Commission. The governor appointed her three years ago. Well, Civil Beat has learned that the governor is not going to reappoint her to a new six year term. Apparently, Marita has not been towing the governor's clean energy agenda. In fact, she has delayed rulings on things like an inter island cable. Clean energy advocates actually say Marita is doing a good job and being patient and not giving in to the governor. So politics going on in this very complicated situation, very important position, the PUC commissioner. You will keep us posted. You know, this was a, a topic that came up yesterday, teaching Hawaiian in Hawaii schools. It's actually been going on for 30 years. Hotly debated issue around here. Board of Education now taking a pretty big move. What's changing? Well, I call it a sweeping decision, actually. The Board of Education approving to set up an office of Hawaiian education within the DOE. So what that will do is that will oversee the state's 20 immersion schools. They serve about 2,000 students that learn primarily in Hawaiian, not in English. I can tell you that Hawaiian advocates, advocates for the, the languages preservation and perpetuation, are very happy about this decision. All right, thanks. Well, we all know lawmakers tend to favor issues that benefit them, kind of the name of the game sometimes. <laughs> but. Sounds like we have a new law in place that's going to help the public kind of keep them in check. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. What the law requires is our lawmakers, representatives, and, and senators have to tell us where they make their money, their financial disclosures, at the beginning of the year, not at the end of May. And why is that important? Well, we need to find out whether they're working for companies and then voting on legislation that might affect those companies. So this is a big deal. We welcome the change as part of our transparency and accountability in our government. Yeah, glad to see they're following through on some of that. And glad to see uh, that you are too, Chad. Thanks so much for that. Thank you so much. Take care, Laura and Ann. All right, we will see you soon. And you can find the complete stories that we just discussed on civilbeat.com. Some uh, very interesting issue yeah, important on today's stuff. agenda.